Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Joe again, Joe Gandalf, TCG. I am the card trading card master collector card wizard. That's why I'm Joe Gandalf, because I'm a wizard. Joe Gandalf, TCG, collecting cards. Look at the new uh, playmat. This is the old school magic card art. If anybody knows what card the art's from, comment down below and then I'll say, hey, you're really cool. I just got it in the mail. Thought it was really awesome. I have another, was it worth it, Walmart edition. But this time, instead of Pokemon, it's magic. Walmart has these little mystery boxes you can buy. I don't remember. I think it's $22.99. So, as usual, I'll put the price up here. Bing! And we'll go through. We'll list the price of the, the rares specifically, because usually no other cards are worth anything. Rares and mythics. And we'll see if we get our money back and find out was it worth it. So the way these work, you get six booster packs from recent Magic the Gathering sets. What could it be? It could be anything. Now, and also the definition of recent depends on when this was made. I uh, don't see what year they made this, because if this was made in like 2018, you know, those recent cards might be different than today's recent. I don't see, oh, 20, 2016. Ooh. So their definition of recent might be a couple older cards. So let's see what packs we get. What do we got? Oh, I even get a dice. Oh, that's fun. Or a life counter, whatever you I always call them dice from Eldritch Moon. So I got Oath of the Gate Watch, Battle for Zen. Cal Dead. Oh, what a hit, dude. These packs are like 12, 15 bucks. This is already, you know what? This is, I got a good feeling about this. Eldridge Moon. Dude, this is going to be a good one for my boy Joey G from TC Gandalf. G, this is going to be good. Born of the Gods. Hey, I could do without. We, we even got three chances at a lottery card. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited. All right. What should we open first? Let's, you know what? Let's get the worst out of the way. Sorry, Born of the Gods, but you're really just not exciting. I mean, I'm excited because it's magic and it's so cool, but I mean, what am I going to get in Born of the Gods? Nothing crazy. So what do we got here? All right, all right, all right, all right. Scouring Sands. One damage to each creature your opponent's control. Charge. Whoa. Charging Badger. Rawr. Trample. He has one one with Trample. That's funny. These cards are all, they feel different texture. Flood Tide Serpent. Can't attack unless you return an enchantment you control to your hand. That's Okay. That's kind of dumb, but whatever. Cool art. Look at that thing. Fellhide Brawler. Can't attack. I had a Minotaur deck once. It was fun. I should I should build that again. Ephara's Radiance. Spend two and tap to gain three life. That's kind of slick. I ain't mad at that. Bolt of Karanos. Three damage to target creature or player. Scry one. Culling Mark. Target creature blocks this turn of Fable. Loyal Pegasus. He can fly, but he can't fly alone. His saddle's empty. He needs someone to sit with him. Grizzly Transformation. Draw a card. A creature has Intimidate. Nyxborn Rolliker. Bestow? What is a bestow? If you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with... Oh, okay, that's right. It can be a creature or it can enchant a creature for that. Got it. Get into the uncommons. Phylar of War. Phylar? Filler? Phylar? Let's go with Phylar. Arc Type of Imagination. Creatures you control have flying. Creatures you control your opponents lose flying. You can't have her gain it. Sanguine, Sanguine Mancy? Draw X cards and luge X life, where X is your devotion to black. What do we got for the rare? Oh, a mythic! Oh, score! Ifara, god of the polis. Score! Big hit. I hope. I don't know if it's worth money. Uh, where's the thing? Bing! Maybe it's worth money, but I got a mythic. This is awesome. Man, Walmart's never let me down before, right? Not like the last Pokemon video I did. Indestructible, as long as your devotion to white or blue is less than seven. He's not a creature at the beginning of each upkeep. If you had another creature enter the battlefield under your last turn, draw a card. Got a mythic. Love it. Love it. And a forest and a bird token. Cool. Off to a good start. All right. Oh, man. I'm excited for Catalyst. These packs are expensive. I could get a lottery card. I could get some cool stuff. I, lo I love this set. I didn't buy enough. And this set was in standard. I was playing, but I wasn't as into it. And I didn't buy as much as I should have. It's a rookie mistake. You hate to see it happen. Fragmentize, Weldfast, Wingsmith, Demolish. This is always good. Destroy target artifact or land. Avery Mechanic, return another permanent you control to your hand. Attune with the Aether, Energy. Supposedly energy was OP. I don't. I didn't ever use it much, but supposedly it was. Thriving Rats, more energy. It is kind of fun to use the energy. Fabricate, if it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it or create a servo token, 1-1. One, one. When he enters the battlefield, no, when he becomes tapped, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Duck Hara Peafowl. It's a bird, but he needs to spend energy to fly because he's a robot bird. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. 
All right, getting into the uncommons now. Are we going to get a lottery card team? The odds are stacked against us, but it could happen. Three energy and pay three to get a flying bird robot. Oh, I love this card. I have a golem deck. I have four of these. All your artifacts cost one less. This is a solid card. Love this card. Love it. I think it's worth a couple bucks, too. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Bing! Let me over here. Bing! Oh, there go the dogs. They're excited for me. Start your engines. NASCAR card. All right. No. Wait. Nope, nope, no, no uh, lottery card, but I did get a gremlin with trample, and then whenever I get more, one or more energy counters, he gets plus two until end of turn. All right, nothing crazy, but I like this card, and it's always fun to open Kaladesh. All right, I've actually tried to buy some of these packs on the internet, but they didn't go through, and I got my money back, and who knows? I don't know what happened, but I wanted them because I always thought this was a sweet set. I mean, look at an Eldrazi Hippogriff. What does that even mean? It's like a demon zombie hippogriff from, from another dimension, and it's awesome. Emerge. Sacrifice a creature and pay that instead of that. Draw a card. Flying zombie thing. Deals X damage to target creature where X is 2 plus the number of these in your graveyard. Cool. I love the art in these. I love kind of the creepy horror theme. Gets plus 1, plus 1. Delirium. Plus two, plus two. Target attacking human. Gets plus one for the Crossroad Consecrator. Ooh, zombie dogs. Don't mess with them. Enlightened Maniac. He's crazy, but he's enlightened. He knows things. When he enters, put a colorless Drazi Horror token. Vampire 2-2 two, two, Vanilla. When he got a little guy with a shield there. He gets plus zero, plus two when he attack. Ooh, Whispers of Emra. Cool. That is crazy. They discard a card. If there are four or more, they discard two cards. Oh, man, that is a brave Outrider. Why are you so blurry? Courageous Outrider. 3-4. Another Eldrazi Crab. I love Eldrazi. I have an Eldrazi deck that's super fun. I love it. Love it. And the rare Assembled Alphas. It's a wolf. Assembled Alphas blocks or becomes blocked. It deals 3 damage to that creature and 3 damage to creature's controller. Don't know what it's worth. Bang! Over there. We'll see. And we got the little flip werewolf guy. It starts out, oh, turns into an Eldrazi werewolf who can add two. That's actually kind of cool. Did I get two rares in this pack? What is happening? Wow, score. Bruna, the fading light. Angel horror. And does this a flip card? Oh, it's a 5 7. When I cast it, I can return another angel to my hand. And this is a flip card. Oh, whoa, oh, dude, it's the half. Of, ah, I forgot these. You put them together, and you get this giant beast monster, Eldrazi Angel. Ooh, I got half of them. I don't know. We'll see if this is worth money, too. We'll do another bing. Bing! I'm going to bing. I'm, when I'm editing this, I'm going bing, 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 bing. I'm going to have a hard time. All right. Zombie token. Well, I don't know. Nothing crazy so far, I, I think. I got that mythic. All right. Here we go. We're going for the lottery card. We're going to zip through these a little quicker. It's getting longer here. All right. We got this guy. Devoid has no color. I really like this set a lot. I bought a lot of these. I had a really sweet um, Eldrazi deck in this too that I took apart. It was really good. Unnatural Endurance. Devoid, no color. Devoid, no color. I like these drones. They're kind of cool. Cole's Eggs, Pathfinder. Target creature can't block him. Love the, I, I love Eldrazi. Elf Warrior Ally. Vigilance Trample. I got a Flying Bird. You can support. Support me. Zeta's Commando Goblin Archer Ally. Harvester Troll. Is that an arrow on his face? What is that? Ow. Balath Pup. Eldrazi Drone. And what we got for the rare? Hedron Alignment. Beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal your hand. If you do, you win the game. If you own a card named Hedron Alignment in Exile in your hand, in your graveyard, and on the battlefield. So if you can get a Hedron alignment in all those spots, then you just win. Cool. And a full art planes. Score. All right. Let's just get these. Let's get these guys over here. We'll just leave you here because you're a mythic. All right. Well, we're going for another lottery card. Oh, man, I don't know how we're doing with the money team. I don't know. But I'm liking I like the packs I got. These are cool packs. These are, this is fun. All right. Anticipate. Mind Raker... Territorial Balath, Royal Mage's Trick, Angelic Gift, Give Me a Present, Make Me Fly, Belligerent Whip Tail, Stonehaven Medic, oh, oh, whoa, 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 
Oh, this guy's just not getting any respect. Destroy target land, volcanic upheaval. Life Spring Druid, tap one color, mana, any color, any mana. Land oh, landfall. Came back with Zendikar. Here it is again. Whenever land enters the battlefield, gets plus two plus two till end of turn. Roiling Thunder. And oh we blighted gorge. Sacrifice and do all right, what we got? What we got? We got we got we got. Oh, oh one more in common. I'm losing my mind. Breaker of armies. All creatures able to block him do so. Smoldering Marsh. I think these actually have a cup, four or five bucks. Let's find out. Bing! Um, I love getting the rare land cycle. Enters tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. And we got another full art land. I'll put you up there. We can look at you. Last pack. Shadows over in Estrad. What did we get? Was it worth it? Did Walmart... How did she do us? Did she do us good or did she do us bad, Walmart? What do we got here? We got the ghostly wings, puncturing light, silent observer, apothecary geist, stallion of ash mouth. I like this art. It just looks so cool. He's riding around with a horse trying to go fight some werewolves or something. Got a vampire. Watcher in the web. Ooh, creepy. Crow of dark tidings, zombie birds. Love zombies, love birds. Put them together, you get something awesome. Into the Uncommon, Spectral Shepherd, Haunted Cloak. I remember using that card. Silver Strike, Destroy Target Attacking Creature. Oh, I get it, Werewolf, Silver Strike. And we have, oh, I love this card, is so cool. Not sure the value, bing, but I know it's a cool card. Triska Decaphobia, I don't even know if I said it. Triska Decaphobia, at the beginning of your upkeep, choose one. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player gains one life. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game, and each player loses a life. So I think Triska Decaphobia is the fear of the number 13. This is a cool card. It'll be fun in a commander with a bunch of people. We got a werewolf flipper guy. Turns into, oh, turns into a ghost. Whoa, that is scary. Can't be blocked. I wouldn't block him either. So we got a ghost thing. Well, all right, team, we're going to find out up here. We've got what I spent and what it was worth. Was it worth it? Nobody knows, but you know, because you can see, and I can't see because I'm filming it right now. But once I edit it, you're going to know what I don't know because you know, and you're smarter than me. So all in all, I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed my new play mat. Comment down below if you know the name of the card this art is from. And I should have some more Walmart. Was it worth it? Maybe Target, Amazon, wherever I can buy cards. We're going to make choices and find out were they good or bad choices. And I realized I'm rambling a lot. So what I am going to do is give you the thumbs up, tell you have a nice day, like me, subscribe me, and watch more of my stuff. And go eat a donut because life's too short. Eat donuts.